Lord, please help us to understand that you are for us, not against us. And we can place our cherished ideas and wants in your hands. And if they are beneficial to us, you will grant the request. Help us not to run from you in fear that you will turn us down. For the only time that you turn us down is when something will not be good for us. Help us to trust, Lord. Amen. Okay, so, dear family, the Lord was talking to me about a piece of equipment that I need. And so I was looking at it, and it was very expensive, and I was troubled by that. So he immediately began speaking to me, and he said, I'm not displeased with you. I want you to have this gift. There's a very specific reason. Please lay aside the guilt and receive from me. I answered him. I wanted to make sure that I was not being misled because it was something I wanted from my work, but got very bad readings after he said that, not confirmations. And then the thought came to me that the Lord wanted me to have a smaller version, but not the big one. And I went to the Bible promises again, and I got Holy Spirit. So thank you, Lord. Because I had written after that, I had written, Lord, please help me. Don't allow me to deceive others, please. And then after I got this, I said, I am humbled, but thank you for correcting me. I feel better about what you have told me. Holy Spirit, about the smaller item. Please lead me through this, through the man who is provide, providing for us. He continued, I have not forsaken you. You received the correction well. Thank you for coming to me. This is most important in all major decisions, so you do not make room for the enemy to lead you into sin. Try, Claire, to come to me sooner so that you do not go down the wrong road. This was a tad late. Yes, Lord, I'm sorry, I, I was afraid. Afraid, he answered, is sin. When will you learn to trust me? I know it's not easy, but it is necessary. I am watching out for you, you know? Yes, I know, Lord. You picked up on my idea when I played Road to Emmaus, this is a song that he wants me to put a little story to. So now I'm asking you to follow up and do this even today. Are you with me? Yes, Lord, thank you for the direction. It's really helping me. Because when I sit down to work on music or uh, a message or anything, I really need to know that the Lord is leading me in that way. And sometimes I get to the point where there's so many things, so many possibilities, that I don't know where to start. So it's wonderful when he tells me. So I told him, thank you for the direction. It's really helping me. And he answered, and that's what I'm here to do, help you. A journey into trust. This is a holy work that calls for your wholehearted response. So many refuse to acknowledge that I am there during dwelling prayer and other times when important decisions need to be made. They leave me out until the very last minute. That really causes disorder and disappointment. I much prefer that you come to me early on with the decisions you have to make. If you feel that I am with you in dwelling prayer, or you get a glimpse of me during dwelling prayer, rather than dismissing it as your own mind or a demon, acknowledge my presence. Do you really think I'm going to give you a snake when you ask for a fish? How appropriate is that saying? The snake is Satan and his workers. The fish is the very food of life. So when you come to me with a humble attitude, submissive, not trusting in yourself, wanting to genuinely worship me. Do you think you should come also with your hearts open to receive? 
Yes, I love genuine worship. When your heart is melding with mine and your desires are my desires, when you are thanking me and praising me and declaring your trust in me, I love this. Shall I reward you with a snake, a familiar spirit to mislead you, guidance into darkness and error, rather than clarification and confirmation of the truth? What kind of God would reward such faithfulness with error? The only hole in your boat is pride and a haughty, unteachable spirit. It is then that you may very well expect deception. But when you worship me in spirit and in truth, seeking only my will, I will not lead you into error. But you know well over the years how I have allowed serious mistakes because of your self-will. But with your genuine desire and efforts to conquer this fault, which is in fact a sin, I most certainly will reward you with clear direction and not allow a misstep. So when you have repented of any evil thoughts or doings and are coming to worship me, we should always repent first thing in the morning and allow the Lord, or before we go to sleep, allow the Lord to pinpoint things. So when you have repented of any evil thoughts or doings and are coming to worship me, you can expect direction and to assign your visions to your own mind or a demon is hurtful to me. Children, come expecting your daddy to help. I am here to help. If you're laying down your ideas for me to correct them and you're sincere, I most surely will guide you into the right path. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I do take care of you in your necessities. I am here to help, not to scold, demand, not to reprimand unless it's needed. I am here to validate and assist you in the better way. And I want you to believe this with all your hearts because it is true. Please make my day joyful by recognizing my presence and direction to the whole community. Yes, that will make my day. And that was the end of his message.